We begin tonight in Wayne County with new developments in a more than decade old cold case that led police to digging in the backyard of a home near Newfoundland. Detectives believe foul play was involved in this missing persons case. Newswatch 16's Jack Coughlin is here to explain what police were looking for. Jack. Lisa Stephen Laporte was last seen in August of 2012. Since then, police have been trying to figure out what happened to him. After getting a search warrant this week in Wayne County, police began searching a property and they confirm human remains were found buried behind a house. An excavator was brought to this home along Pete Road in Wayne County to assist police and forensic crews who have been working the last two days digging up the backyard looking for the skeletal remains of Stephen Lapori of Toby Hanna. A uh, cadaver dog specially trained to uh, locate human remains indicated in an area that we had been, had interest in. Uh, we began uh, to excavate the area yesterday and uh, we located uh, human remains. Detective Craig Van Leuvender of the Monroe County District Attorney's Office has been working the missing persons case of Lapori since 2013, a year after he was first reported missing from his hometown in Monroe County of August of 2012. We don't have an ID yet on the remains. So um, we that's where we're at at this point. In a statement released Wednesday by the Wayne County District Attorney's Office, the search warrant for the home was issued after Brian Hewson, formerly of Monroe County, told police Lapori's body would be found near the pool at his relative's house. According to court papers, in an interview in 2015, a former associate of Brian Hewson told police that Hewson cut a deal with him to kill Lapori because of a dispute over money. While Wednesday's discovery advances the investigation, police say there is still work to be done. It's an ongoing investigation. When uh, it's complete, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to move on. Brian Hewson was arrested in Florida in September, charged as a fugitive from justice for missing court on unrelated charges in Monroe County. Authorities in Monroe County say they plan to provide more information regarding Lapore's disappearance in the coming days. Jack Colkin at Newswatch 16. Lisa, back to you.